Nyla. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you haven't met me yet, I'm a full-time working mom of one baby girl. And on this channel, I like to talk about all things design, specifically focusing on the home, how it affects our mental health, and what we can do daily to improve that. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. I release videos every Thursday. In this video, I want to talk about refreshing your closet in a way that can help to encourage self-care, especially when you don't have a lot of time or you're just simply going through something. In my case, it's both. But also, I've been battling with a rare skin disorder that's caused me to rethink my summer wardrobe. Tubes, where'd you go? Tubes. <gasps> there you are! Tubes. <laughs> Deciding on what to wear this summer has been an absolute nightmare in and of itself for me. Not because I'm indecisive, but like I said, I've been struggling with my skin and how exactly I feel about it. I went into a little more detail in other videos about some of the skin issues that I've been struggling with. During the winter, what to wear wasn't as big of an issue for me because I was covering my whole body with long sleeves and turtlenecks and long pants. So as the weather's changing and getting warmer, I find I've been struggling to figure out where I stand with my emotional health in relation to my skin. On the one hand, I've always been a strong advocate for loving our bodies no matter what shape they take on because it's the only vessel that we have for living out our lives. And our bodies go through so much just to keep us moving from one day to the next. It's important for me to find love in myself, in my natural state, whatever that may be. However, I have been struggling with the overall look of my skin being something completely different than what I have seen myself for most of my life. From the outside looking in, it looks like something's wrong and I've been battling those fears since everything started to develop. We also have this very strong inclination to cover up imperfections. There's treatments and serums and everything the beauty industry offers to help us hide what makes us feel less than perfect. And don't get me wrong, I love skincare and I love makeup, but I also love myself despite the flaws. It's been weird for me. I've been slowly letting parts of my body show up to the world. Even on this channel, you'll see certain parts of my body exposed that I still feel insecure about. When I'm at work though, I still feel very self-conscious about showing my scars and fear of questions and having to explain what's been going on. It's been a constant mental battle. At work, I have to find things that cover up my arms but are still kind of summery and don't look like I'm trying to hide something. And at home, certain outfits and swimsuits just won't work for me anymore because I don't wanna put myself on display like that. It's like after coming into this time where I'm starting to feel comfortable in my skin again after being pregnant and postpartum, working out and taking all these steps to take care of my body. Feels like there's another hurdle that's just been thrown at me and I have to try to overcome and it's all become just a lot to process and deal with. My dermatologist recommended clothing that's loose and all natural to cause less irritation to my skin, which can flare up even more when it's already irritated. This too has made me think about style changes and forego clothing that I normally would feel like represents me to find clothes that I still kind of like but are probably better suited for my skin condition. <laughs> Yay! Whoa, are you dizzy? I'm dizzy. That was fun. <laughs> Buying you some clothes. So, my goal setting out was to organize my closet in a way that gets me excited about actually getting dressed again, especially when looking into my closet can be so daunting and the last thing that I really feel like doing. So don't get me wrong, some days just being able to wear pajamas while working is one of my favorite benefits of working from home. 
but also there's days when I just feel frumpy and putting on some cute casual type of lounge clothes it just helps me to feel a little bit more productive so all that being said I put together a list of five things to help my closet become a positive place of self-care again and I'm hoping that this will also help you to put some of these steps in place to refresh your own closet so decluttering your clothing each season is not exactly on par with the Marie Kondo method, but I will say that it works wonders with my mental health and it really helps me to move on from what no longer serves me. Organize in a simple way. Making the most out of your space with the proper organizing baskets that fulfill your needs and actually fit the space well will do wonders for keeping your closet appealing. Adding an accent wall. So, peel and stick wallpaper is actually the quickest and most renter friendly way to create interest and instantly elevate your closet. So, I knew I was only doing this a very small portion of my closet and I wasn't even going all the way down. I was just gonna do like a little quarter of the wall and do just an accent so I didn't measure and I just assumed that this roll would be long enough and it's not there's no way I'm actually gonna be able to uh, do this whole back wall like I wanted to so I'll probably end up ordering another roll but that's not too bad because it was pretty inexpensive I am a little bit upset that I won't be able to finish today but I'm gonna get up what I can and for that, I would definitely choose something that's a little bit more neutral or you can really go crazy and have fun with it. But the idea behind a neutral peel and stick in your closet is not to compete with any of the colors of your clothing in your closet. It's kind of like a fresh new little pop without overkill. Add lighting. Small, dark spaces live for the light. <laughs> so this is sorcery. There's only three of these on one single one. And I guess we'll see when we watch the video back. I did three of them. I have one in my hand and there's one left with three of them. And one single one. This is why you crazy male, or maybe we're just really living in a matrix. This camera footage better match up. I could also very well be crazy. Ooh. Let's go check down some batteries. Three double A for each of them, sheesh. It is amazing what some nice bright lighting will do to your space to make it more inviting and way easier to navigate. Keep it clean. So maintaining certain areas of my home that I consider my own personal space to engage in self-care, like my vanity, is really, really important to me. I want to make sure that these areas are set up in an easy and pleasing way so there is no hesitation and as little restriction as possible in accomplishing tasks that help me with my mental health.
Okay, so finally finished. I want to show you how I organize my closet. Hopefully, Zayla lets me do it. All right, so let's take a closer look. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in the camera and show you what I'm doing. So maybe I'll do, I'll just show you what I'm doing and then talk. So in the back here, I did like my shorts and skirts and things like that. And then I also organized it by color and the wash of the denim. Same thing with my long pants. I did like my tights, um, like the cargo pants, and some of my shorter pants I organized together. And then I did my denim here. So then I have my two piece sets, which I put all together here. And then I did my rompers next. And again, I tried to color code depending on how many of that specific item I had. And then I have like my short sleeve shirts that I put all here together. And then I did my sleeveless tops here. Next, once again, color coded. Next, I have my long sleeve shirts here. Yes, I'll be wearing long sleeves in the summer, but you know, we talked about that. And then I did all of my dresses. <laughs> And once again, I try to color coordinate everything. So I use these dividers that I was actually previously using for my clothing, but it wasn't quite working. But it actually works perfectly for my purses. And I really, really love how I've been able to organize those. And then next, here I have my workout stuff. So I have like sports bras, t-shirts over here, and then I have all of my workout pants over here. These are all of my pajamas, which I put all the sets together and then like all of my shorts. And then over here is like all of my t-shirts. These are like sleeping t-shirts, oversized t-shirts, and then some of like my t-shirts that I would normally wear around the house. And then I put the, all those here. And then back here, So I do actually wear sweaters and hoodies in the summertime. No, I'm not a teenager. I know that's a teenage thing. But I do wear them around the house because they're so comfortable. And I love when the air is on and it's like a little bit chilly. But you put shorts on and I remember people used to do this in high school and I didn't get it in high school. Why are you wearing a hoodie and shorts? But I get it now in my 30s. I finally understand. So down here we have all of the drawers. bras and then tights and undies socks and tank tops i'm not sure if i'm gonna use this yet in my closet if i do need something to put here i do have the extra space which is nice in this here i have all of my swim stuff in there i have like beach towels swimsuits things like that. I don't access it too often, so I wasn't too worried about having this out in the open. And it's somewhere that I can easily get to when I do need to grab my stuff for the beach. So back here is basically storage for all of my winter items and some party supplies. And this is like a weekend bag that I usually take with me just about every trip. I don't like to check bags, so I typically have a carry-on. And then I was also happy that I was able to fit my hamper in here. And then of course I have over here the hooks that I installed. I put put um, one of my little book bags and then I also have over here it's like my camera bags pop lights at the top so that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed following along with me on my closet journey today and also hearing about my wellness journey and some of the wellness that's associated with organizing your closet in a way that works best for you if you like this video please make sure to like subscribe comment everything and then i'll see you in the next video bye